ministry receives and endorses project proposals for financing under the intervention. The ministry ensures that there is due diligence taken to ascertain the economic impact and commercial viability of proposed projects. The ministry also partners with the CBN and participating bank in monitoring the, uh, to, uh, monitoring the project till full repayment. Meanwhile, the guideline states clearly, without ambiguities, that they are supposed to do evaluation at the ministry, send the, the, the qualified names of obligors or beneficiaries to CBN for, for, for them to be able to assess the funding. But uh, that was not done properly. And uh, we discovered that some of the companies that collected these funds are, are portfolio companies and they have nothing on ground to show. So the committee is going to investigate all of that and tell Nigerians the true position of things. Thank you. So how much I think, Mr. Chairman, um, this is going to be the first of these meetings. Uh, that's, that's, that's why I look at it because uh, um, either deliberately or otherwise, uh, we have not been presented with enough uh, information. Therefore, I would suggest that in going forward, we might need to physically see what this money has been used for. Mr. Chairman, with your kind permission, I will suggest... If Central Bank has no business with this, then you could have allowed the commercial bank to do their risk assessment, give the credits. You already know the interest rates. It's no longer your business. You wouldn't have been with them at all. So you can't say uh, that Central Bank didn't know anything about it. They didn't have any much role to play. The risk, be yes, you don't assess the risk because you are not commercial. If I apply for loan, you are not to assess me. It's my commercial bank that will assess me. But you give a comfort line to the commercial bank in doing so.